That was announced, no, shocks to us think about teenage pregnancy. Apparently one in three 15-year-olds in the UK admit to being sexually active. That was a shock tabloid headline. I don't know where they get this kind of evidence. No, I don't know who they ask to get these statistics. No, if some youth worker, some youth worker approached you when you were 15 years old in front of all your pals <laughs> and asked you if you were sexually active. You're fucking right, mate. <laughs> Who's Shagger? <laughs> Put me in for five, pal. <laughs> if you never get any sex education at school, remember word would spread when you were 15. If you went to the health centre, they gave you condoms. That was good. You went down there, got the health centre, got your condoms. None of us were well sexed, but you got the condoms. Filled them up with water. <laughs> they become water balloons. <laughs> Using a condom in a water fight, the thinking man's water fight. But you'd always have one of your friends who would take it a bit too far and introduce a Durex extra safe. <laughs> A Durex extra safe in a water fight. You'll fucking put somebody in a coma. <laughs> a Durex ribbed extra safe. <laughs> You'll need facial reconstructions. <laughs> I'm getting to that age. I'm 23 years old. I'm 23. Not a lot of people believe that. I'm 23. And I'm in the west of Scotland. This is what a young guy looks like in this day and age. I'm 23. <laughs> I look like a darts prodigy, don't I? Get out, come on. <laughs> I'm 23, so I'm getting to that stage. Some of my friends, some of my cousins are having children. And that way, you'll notice this. In a, in a family gathering, there's a newborn baby getting passed around somebody's living room like a joint. <laughs> And everybody's saying their peace. You know some people who have just got this natural rapport when they speak to babies, they can just go, oh, look at you. <laughs> and the baby starts mumbling. Are you telling me a wee story? <laughs> it's getting closer and closer to me and I'm thinking, shit. <laughs> I need to pretend I give a fuck. And it gets to me, and I just kind of freeze. I'm going, oh, how, how, how you doing, mate? <laughs> then the baby feels the tension, starts to cry. Everybody looks at me as if I'm in the wrong here. Oh, toughen up, you wee prick. <laughs> Give me a quid, or you're getting stabbed. Just you.